this video, I'm going to show you how I created the Forbidden Desert of Pasana in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to another breakdown video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Star Wars inspired battle scene in Photoshop. We will break it down step by step from the beginning. So this battle scene was inspired by the Rise of Skywalker movie and the place is the Forbidden Desert of Pasana. There's no battle like this that actually happened in this desert in the movie but I wanted to create my own battle scene in Photoshop. So the aspect ratio for this project is 16 by 9 and the resolution was 5447 by 3064 pixels. And I started by creating the sky with the linear gradient and the color goes from light to dark blue. Then I added my first two background images and another one on top of them and at the right. What I did next is I removed the sky of the background and blended it with the left image with the layer mask. Then I removed the sky of the background image and decided to duplicate the image in the right, change its scale and flip it to the right to match the color. Now, I added another image in the foreground, blended it to the right image with the layer mask, the levels and the color bounce adjustment layer. Then I finished the foreground by matching the color of the background mountains with the sky and I painted some haze with my smoke brush to add some depth to the image. Ok, it's time to add some details to the sky and the first thing I did was I added a planet in the background. Then I removed the background and changed its blending mode to screen. Next, I started adding clouds and I used multiple images. And to blend them with the sky, I first removed the color by desaturating them, then changed their blending mode to screen, and then blended them with the layer mask. Then I added even more clouds and blended them with the sky using the exact same technique. Then I finished the sky by adding some stars with a dark background and changed their blending mode to lighten. Now let's add the main attraction of this battle which is the 8080s and I placed them behind the mountains. So first I matched the luminosity with the levels adjustment layer and I also painted some haze at the bottom area of the 8080 to add some depth and make it look like it is far away. Next I matched the color with the color balance adjustment layer then painted some highlights and shadows with more adjustment layers to enhance the contrast and blend it better. And lastly, I added a small value of blur to match the focus with the mountains in the background. And that's exactly what I did for the other 8080 as well. Now, to make this scene a lot more epic than it is, I added a star destroyer behind everything. And I found this 3D image that allows you to change the angle of the star destroyer and then download the still image to get it exactly how you want it. So I first matched the luminosity and the color with the dramatic levels and hue saturation adjustment layers to make it look like it is far away in the distance. And then I masked that from the engine thrusters because I wanted that blue glowing light. So to make this star destroyer blend even better, I painted more highlights and shadows with multiple adjustment layers and then added some noise on top. Ok, now back to those engines because I wanted to add some exhaust fire and I used this image of an ion thruster engine. I changed its blending mode to screen and then I copied it two times to the other engines as well. And I also added a little bit of blur to the whole image. Now an epic battle scene like this will not make any sense without some starfighters. So I added a lot of them in different locations making sure to match the light direction. So, as always, I start by matching the light with the levels adjustment layer and the color with the color balance adjustment layer. Then I enhance the highlights with the hue saturation adjustment layer and of course blur the image a little bit to match the focus. Now this X-Wing needs to look like it is moving fast. So I added a speed trail with the motion blur filter, then enhanced that with some additional fire added to the engines. So then I pretty much did the same thing for the other starfighters and I used different values for each one as some are smaller and further away and require different luminosity, color and blur values. 
Okay, this composition is epic already, but we need to add some action to the scene. And the best way to do that is by adding some laser beams and explosions. So, I drew the laser beams with the pen tool and added the glow effect with layer style. And then I painted some light reflections at the 8080 itself because that laser beam is also a light source. And the same goes for the others as well, but I only added the laser beams when it made sense. Next, I added some crushing TIE Fighters by adding some fire behind the engines, then painted a smoke trail with my custom smoke brush, then added more smoke and debris to make it look even more realistic. I added another one crushing in the background and I also painted the smoke trail behind it. After that, I added another one in the ground, I removed the background and blended it with the layer mask. And then I added some fire and smoke on top of that. What I added next is more explosions in the ground. I matched the color and the luminosity and then painted some dust in the background. So for the characters, I wanted to add Knights of Ren in the scene and I placed them on top of the mountain hills. So I first painted some highlights and shadows and then matched the color and also added another one in the background and matched the luminosity with the background mountain. Okay, the last ones are the droids in the foreground and I used this image for that. First I removed the background with the pen tool then I added some shadows and matched the color and the luminosity with levels and color bands adjustment layers. And with that done now, all the elements are added to the composition and it's time to do some color grading. So, I added the first adjustment layer which is the selective color to enhance the color. Then a color balance after that to mostly enhance the color of the sky. And then a levels adjustment layer to enhance the contrast overall and finish the color grade with a camera raw filter and I made that only visible in the sky and the mountains. Okay, the last finishing touches I did was adding a heat distortion to the engines of the Death Star with the blur and the distort filters. And lastly, I applied some sharpening to enhance everything and bring it together. Okay, so that's how I created this Star Wars battle scene in Photoshop. These types of videos takes a lot of research and editing, so if you enjoy this type of content, do me a favor and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also leave a comment below letting me know what you think. If you want to learn even more about compositing, then make sure to enroll in my free compositing course, you will find the link in the description below. And also check out my courses at Retouch Studio Academy, every purchase you make there, Help me create free content for you here, so thank you for your support. Alright, so that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.